Hello everybody. I'm Reverend Dr. Red. And I am the founder of Spiritual Messiah Ministries. Um, I'm sure everybody knows about the massive persecution that's going on in the Mideast region of Christians and Jews. Um, I'm sure everybody's heard, <coughs> been hearing uh, about the news of Egypt and all the Coptics that are being persecuted and murdered and burned over there. And there's also numerous Christians being persecuted against in Iraq and Afghanistan. Everybody knows about the continual fight between uh, Palestine and Israel. And so in response to that, and as well as in response to the fact that Christianity and a personal relationship with God in general has been on the decline in Europe as well as in America. Spiritual Messiah Ministries formed a or a organization called the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition. What the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition is, is it's an organization. Um, if you're uh, if you're Jewish or Christian, an indiv individual, or if you are a rabbi or a Christian minister, or you're Christian or Jewish uh, church, temple, or organization would like to form a, like to join a, a coalition of other Christians and Jews who are working together to get the truth out there of what's going on all around the globe, um, as well as to bring awareness to the world uh, of the persecution going on and to protect ourselves by helping each other, keeping each other aware of what's going on in our local uh, regions of our, of our nations, or as well as what's going on in each other's nations, <clears throat> so that we are constantly aware of what's happening, and so we can possibly help each other uh, through the hardships. Um, The uh, goal of the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition is not only to get the word out to everybody around the world about all the persecution, who's causing the persecution, the reason behind the persecution, how we can stop the persecution, but it's also to form a network of the Christians and the Jews globally. And so to have a tight-knit network of people in their surrounding areas that they can go to for assistance in such cases. Many of you are going to figure, well, I live in America or I live in Europe, so it doesn't pertain to me. <clears throat> and some of you watching this video might not even be Jewish or Christian, so you're going to figure what doesn't pertain to me. I'm going to tell you that it does. Um, if you look at Europe and, and America, God is literally being kicked out of the countries, whether be due to the government, due to outside influences, or a combination. The fact of the matter is, God is being pushed out of the West, and <clears throat> that is why we are seeing all the problems that, that we are seeing now. Everything connects back. And like I said in an earlier video, if you pe it's similar to peeling back the layers of onion. When you get down to the center, if you get done peeling all the layers off, what you're looking at is the Bible. Everything that was spoken about in the Bible, we, are, we haven't seen play out all throughout history. Uh, I will have videos that will explain where exactly we're at right now, or you know, pretty close to where we're at right now, and what we can expect in the very near future. You know, a lot of a lot of you who claim to be Christians 
and particularly in America, really don't even have, not even have an understanding of what it means to be a Christian, or you, you don't even have a full understanding of who Jesus Christ was. I mean, yes, you can say, tell me he was the Son of God and everything you were taught in the churches, but beyond that, that's about as far as it goes. Well, the purpose of the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition is to educate all the Christians and the Jews as to who God really is, what's really going on, how we can fix everything, and how we can um, help each other get get through these hardships. Um, <clears throat> it's been seen all throughout history that we have had waves of persecution. Uh, but right now, if you look at the statistics, we're at an all-time high. <clears throat> If you look at the statistics, Christian persecution in particular is at an all-time high. Never before in the history of Christianity had as much Christians as this past year alone been murdered for simply being a Christian. And never before had so many pastors of, of Christianity in so many uh, regions in the world been martyred for simply being a Christian because they refused to give up their faith in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Never before in history has the amount of churches that have been burned down or stopped from being constructed around the world uh, happened as in, as in this, this past few years. And for the first time in American history we are seeing numerous blockades getting in the way of Christian churches being built. Um, out in California, there's a couple that are having problems just simply having a weekly Bible study with their family and friends. Uh, in numerous areas, including in upstate New York, people have had problems with a simple cross on their own property. They needed to, they were told that they needed a permit to do so. Now we have Muslims and atheists working together to tell Catholic entities, particularly this one Catholic University, that they need to cover up their crosses inside their own establishment. And as far as I'm concerned, if, you, if the cross offends you, you don't belong in a Catholic institution in the first place, or any Christian institution. There's plenty of other colleges in this nation, and I'm sure that, that if you look hard enough, there's a Muslim university that the Muslims can go to, and secular universities the atheists can go to. So it isn't just a quiet matter that we can just brush under the rug and forget about. It's been escalating over the past two decades, and at this moment in history, it's at an all-time high. The atheists in California have managed to get it, where not only are Christians having problems doing Bible studies in their own homes, but I believe that there was a monumental cross that was forced to be taken down because it offended the atheists and it oversaw a highway. Um, there's also numerous cemeteries across the country that you can no longer have a cross atop the burial site. And you can't have a cross on a tombstone. You can't enter the premises wearing a cross. And in the final prayers at the funeral, you're not even allowed to mention God, Jesus' name, or anything of the sort in the in the in the prayers. This is getting a little out of hand now.
and numerous governments, including the American government, seem to be turning a blind eye to the persecution of Christians, not only here in America, at its beginning, but it's turning a blind eye to our so-called allied nations, whose rebel element, as well as their military, who is currently controlling the government, or the nation, is literally burning down the Christian churches, running over Christian protests, and where these protests are simply to get um, equality and the, the right to practice there. Uh, there have been numerous videos up on YouTube of Christians in Egypt that have been beaten, stripped naked, and tied behind the back end of vehicles and literally dragged to their deaths. Um, not videos I would, I would recommend just anybody seeing, but, you know, if you don't believe me, you can look, look it up. I prefer, if you were at least 18 years of age, to watch these videos on YouTube, considering the graphic content on there. <clears throat> but this is happening all over. And we have the fact that in Syria, Assad has been protecting the Christians in his country. They are viewed as, as equal citizens, not second-class citizens, like they're viewed in other Middle Eastern nations. And everybody's blindly found the fact that, that Assad is this big evil man that our government is portraying him to be, when in actuality he's not. Yes, he is a Muslim. Yes, he follows Islamic law. But he does give Christians the right to to live there and practice there, and they are viewed as equal citizens to the rest of the populace inside of Syria. If he gets taken down, we are going to see a Muslim caliphate form in the Mideast. And I can guarantee you that if that happens, we are going to see the mass extinction of all Christians and all Jews in the Middle East area. And as far as tax on Israel are concerned, I can guarantee you that, that there is, it's going to escalate and they're going to take advantage of the fact that they are now have complete control of the area and have Israel completely surrounded. Then you have Europe, where we are seeing an increasingly um, harder and harder for the Christians to get to practice their belief, and they're being attacked by militant atheists as well as the Muslims. If you so much as can go anywhere near these so-called no-go zones, and they know you have, you are a Christian, a lot you you allowed to get beaten and robbed, or if you're a female, you'll be raped. And there have been numerous instances where there it's been leaked that they have actually murdered Christians. And nobody's getting arrested for it because the European governments are turning a blind eye to all this. And we're seeing the same thing happening here in America now. In response to all this was the formation of the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition. Myself and Spiritual Messiah Ministries is asking any of you out there who happen to be a Christian or Jewish, if you are or just a practitioner of the belief, or if you are a minister, we are asking you to join us in the movement to spread the truth and help bring God back to America, back to Europe, and back to the rest of the world. And we are asking you to help us form this coalition so that no matter where in the world Christians and Jews are being persecuted and they need a place to turn 
then they'll have a network that they can turn to to figure out where they can go. to be safe, whether it be a permanent safety or temporary safety, safety nonetheless. You can join the Spirit of Truth movement and coalition by sending an email to either spiritual messiah ministries at gmail dot com or myself at Reverend W Conrad at AOL dot com. And in that email, please specify your name, uh, whether you're a Christian or, or a Jewish, uh, if you are a minister, and if you are a minister, please can stay if you're willing to um, have your church, temple, or organization join forces with the coalition, or if you're looking more to join just on an individual level. And please also state um, the region you're living in. If you're in America, please get, state your city and state. If you're outside America, <coughs> and please mention uh, the country that, you're, that you are residing in. And as the Spirit of Truth Movement and Coalition grows, we will send all of you via email the newer members of the network their contact information um, if they are in your area. We will definitely get that information out to you so you can start forming the network in your area. And we also ask you, aside from emailing us, to uh, join the Spirit of Truth Movement and Coalition. We also ask that you get the word out about the Spirit of Truth Movement and Coalition. Uh, there's plenty of Christians and Jews out there that are looking for an organization or some kind of network that they can turn to for assistance. And they're not going to know that where to go or who is safe to turn to if they don't know that we exist. So please immediately following you know, sending us an email about um, you're joining the Spirit of Truth Movement and Coalition, please start spreading the word to your friends and family. If you are a minister, please spread it to your congregation at your church or your temple. If you are the leader or a staff of, an, of a Christian or Jewish organization, please spread the word to your organization. Uh, embed this video on your website or a link to it on your website. Uh, copy the video and put it on your YouTube channel. You know, get the word out there that, that there is a growing network of Christians and Jews that is here to get the word out to everybody about what's going on in the world and to bring God back into America, back into Europe, and to the world, and that we are going to stand by Israel. It is in these days of darkness that we, we stick together. It's a very hard times, and they are only going to get worse. So please, I ask all of you, spread the word. <coughs> the Spirit of Truth Movement and Coalition, I'll say it again, is here to educate everybody around the world of all the persecution that is happening in the Middle East, to bring those that are already Christians and, or Jews closer to God to bring God back to America, to Europe, and the rest of the world, and to form a network of Christians and Jews 
so that we can all keep stay well informed of what's going on with each other, what could be coming in the direction of each other. And so when we are in danger and we need a place to turn, there's a we will have uh, communication set up to figure out whether it be temporary or permanent a safe, a safe uh, haven for the Christians or the Jews to go to. This is a very dark time that we are in. It is only going to get worse. So please, Email spiritual messiah ministry at gmail dot com or myself, Reverend W Conrad at AOL dot com with your name. If you're a minister, uh, if you're a minister, the name of your organization. If you're in America, the city and state. If you're outside America, the country you're in. And then get the word out there. Copy the video. Embed the video on your website or link it to your website and spread the word about the spiritual truth movement and coalition. We need to get it out there that there is a growing network forming for the purposes of educating everybody of what's going on and to bring the masses of the Christians and the Jews together globally. We need to stick together. Us Christians, we need the Jews for our survival, and the Jews need us Christians for their survival. We are all children of God. We need to be able to rely on each other for our safety. If we continue to sit back and do nothing, the day is going to come when we are going to be exterminated off the face of the planet. And Christianity and Judaism is going to be deleted from the history books. And Jerusalem is going to fall into the hands of the enemy. We cannot allow that to happen. The only way we can prevent that from happening is by working together, coming together as the family that we are, no matter what nation we were born into, no matter what nation we're residing in now, no matter the language we speak, we need to come together. We are all of one family, of God. Well, let's break down the fact that, you know, well, we're in America, so what's happening in Egypt it doesn't affect us. Or, well, we're in Europe, so what's happening in America doesn't affect us, etc. We need to come together. If you call, if you call yourself a Christian, if you call yourself a Jew, if you go to church, if you go to the temple, if you pray to God, then we are all of the same family. We need to come together as the brothers and sisters we are on a global level and, and help each other and protect each other. If we don't, things are going to get increasingly worse for us. Because now as the events get, get worse, on a global scale, we are going to be alone in the world. All we're going to have is us, the individual. If we form this network, if we come together as the, as the family of God that we are, we'll be able to get through this. We'll have people in our local areas that we can rely on and and gather around for support. 
and it's through that support and prayer to God that we'll be able to get through the times we're in now, as well as the times that are coming our way. But it's very, it is very, very important that we act on this now. It is very important we form this network now. It's going to continue getting worse, and sooner or later, communications via the internet or or cellular phones or what have you aren't going to be available to us. And they're going to take it down. And it's going to be in that case. It's going to be a lot harder for us to find our brothers and sisters. We're going to feel like we're alone in the world. If you feel like you're alone, it's going to make it that much harder for you to handle what's ha what's coming. It's going to make it that much harder for you to survive. So please, from one child of God to the to another child of God, from one brother to the to all my other brothers and sisters. I'm begging you to, to please heed this call and spread the word about the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition. Send us an email that you're going to, that you're joining the network. Spread the word. Copy this video onto your own YouTube channel. And let's get it out there. I want to see my, the ministry's inbox and my personal inbox full of emails of Jews and Christians all around the world joining the network. And I also want to see people flooding our, our inboxes with news that the mainstream media isn't covering that's happening in your respective locations. This news has to get out there, so please, let's form this network Let's get over our ignorance and arrogance of what's happening in the world. Let's realize the times that we're in. And, and let's act as the family that we are. You can go to spiritualinsideministries.org. There's a page on there that speaks of, of the Spiritual Truth Movement Coalition there. It gives a brief description. You can also email us and we will give you any further information you'd like. But we are here to preserve God's Word. We are here to help our brothers and sisters. We are calling on all of our brothers and sisters to help us. We are a family under God. And it is about time we act like one. Everybody's too busy holed up in their own lives, not paying attention to anything else. That's how we got into this mess. And that's how God managed to get kicked out of America. That's how Europe fell. And that's how Spain fell, England fell, all the European nations fell as Christian nations. Nobody's been caring about their brothers and sisters in their own communities, let alone in other nations. It's about time to get past that and start fixing the problem. This problem is not going to get fixed if we don't start coming together. So we're asking all of you to come together as the family that we are. I, I can't express that enough. Let's come together. Let's form localized networks as well as global networks. Let's get news spreading amongst ourselves what's going on. Let's form this network to keep ourselves safe and protected. Let's educate the masses who are unaware of what's going on, of what's going on. And let's help bring God back to America, bring God back to Europe, 
Jackson and help save all the, all the lost souls in the world. And that's what we were called here to do. So let's do it. Join the Spirit of Truth movement and coalition. If we don't come together today, if you don't help each other and act as a family today, there isn't going to be a tomorrow. So please, help us get the word out there. Let's educate the masses. And let's work as the family that we're supposed to be. And again, that's spiritualmessiahministries.org. You can read about the movement there. Copy this video. Put it on your own YouTube channel. Link to it or embed it in your websites. Send us emails. That uh, either you on an individual scale or your your church, temple, or organization is going, is joining forces with the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition as a member of the Spiritual Truth Movement and Coalition to help us grow the network. And let's not allow ourselves to be deleted out of the history books. The only way to stop this growing persecution before it gets worse is to come together as a family. And brothers and sisters, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do here, right now. So please, join the network, spread the word, and let's fight this persecution. We are the only ones we have to rely on. Nobody else is going to help us, so we have to help ourselves. God bless.